I bought an electric scooter. Okay, so have you ever seen those guys with the charging kind of lime scooters and so I found it very interesting and I have tried it out myself found it very very uh, good and I wanted really bad one for myself so in this video I'm gonna show you if this is a good investment or not or you should uh, rent those lime scooters so let's get right into it okay so first of all this scooter wasn't very expensive I got it with a discount code and it was like 270 dollars so it's very affordable for such performance it has a 350 uh, watt motor and 6000 milliamp hour battery in it can charge uh, from 3 to 4 hours and has a flash um, flashlight uh, all around it like at the back tail lights, 3 tail lights, red lights and 3 in the front and I'm gonna show you so I'm very excited for this unboxing let's get right into it okay this is a quite heavy box I'm not kidding let's get to the scooter I got mine the camouflage uh, color it's an interesting color not like black or so This thing is heavy! Ugh. Let's see what else we got in the box. We have user manuals, charging cables, and some screws. Set it aside. Let's set this thing aside. Ooh. This thing is quite as big. This, big. this is big. Okay, so... This also is a big motor, very big motor. To assemble this, it's pretty simple. You have four screws. You, you like put. Tighten those screws. Uh, this this can be like gonna. Let's get this thing out. You like put it like this. There's a clamp and another clamp, and you're ready to go. Let's figure out how this thing works. All right. So to power this thing on, you have a power button. You press it for two seconds, and it should boot right up. All right, this shows you how far you went. This is your speed, and it's now on the highest speed at three, the, uh, the mode three. If you wanna know uh, what your odometer is, so how far you have went with the whole device in the whole week or so, you have to press it like once, one again, and like other one. And you have see, I have a 92 kilometer done on this beast. Bro, this thing goes on one charge 10 kilometers. This thing is a beast, like very fast and very convenient 10 kilometers on like such a small thing. Not that small, it's pretty heavy, but very fast, very convenient. It goes like 25 kilometers per hour. So for myself, it's pretty fast enough. And yeah, so almost at 100 kilometers done on this beast. This thing is pretty cool. You have like here a bell. When you uh, press it, the lights goes on like to know uh, to let know uh, the others behind you that you're slowing down. That's a really nice touch. To power on the LED, you just to press the power button one time, and it powers right on. It's pretty powerful. Like in daylight, you can see it all also. Also, to turn it off, 
and that's it like pretty much if you want to uh, change from kilometers to miles per hour or miles also uh, long click second uh, uh, this is for the trip this is for the miles miles per hour and miles if I want to show you how, how many miles I have done on this thing, it's like 85 miles done on this thing. But I, um, I found uh, kilometers better for myself. Let's get this thing outside and show you some uh, footage of it and how fast it goes and let's enjoy it together. As you guys know, it's very practical for me to have a scooter like this because I go every single day to the gym and after workout, your legs hurt you if you're gonna cycle through the town. And getting a car is not a very good idea because you have maintenance, you have gas, you have um, insurance, and you have the cost of the car itself. Like, it doesn't make sense. For me, like 10 kilometers through my town is very, very fine with this thing. Like it can get me through the day. Like going with this to the gym or going with this like part of my city. My city is not that big. So I enjoy this around and I can play with it every single time I want. So and also it's cost of charging you because you guys all want to hear it. I'm in the Netherlands and the cost of electricity to charge one thing like this one scooter like this is around seven cents that's pretty much nothing pretty much nothing for a scooter like this with a battery that can get you up to 10 kilometers it's very far it's very far 10 kilometers for seven cents to see it from a gas perspective to a car oh seven cents is nothing and yeah guys i hope you like this kind of mini tutorial i will be doing some time lapse for it so that you can all guys enjoy just like wanted to inform you guys a little bit uh, while editing this video I noticed that I said three to four hours charging time it can take a little bit longer than that it can take up to six hours I even left it a night for it to charge fully uh, the first time I got it so I wanted you to inform you all also one thing I forgot also to mention the price was 270 euros not in dollar in dollar it will be 279 dollars so roughly around $300 for it US American dollars in it and something to consider very very good get the 350 watt motors because everything underneath it like the 300 or the 250s are literally garbage my friend has one and it slows over time down the battery won't uh, push so many power through the motor and the motor is itself weak so 250 watts or 300 watts is uh, set up weak. So settle for the 300 or uh, 350 or 400 watts if you can get it. I will be leaving down below links where you can buy some good electric scooters. I myself recommend it, recommend it to you and I will put down below links where you can buy it from simply from Amazon. So guys, I have also one question about where did I get this one from? I went on tour to Paris and I was like in that shop called Auchan shop uh, and I found this scooter I liked it I tried it outside the shop and I fell in love with it directly I bought it and I got it here to the Netherlands 
and another tip if you're not going to buy from my link down below that I don't mind that uh, but uh, take into consideration that the battery you're gonna get inside this um, scooters 6,000 6, or above because underneath 6,000 the power will be less the range will be less than 10 kilometers uh, 6 miles so you will need that extra kind of range so 6,000 milliamp hours or more and also the wheel inch will be very big like bigger than six inches would be perfectly would be perfectly suitable for the scooters because uh, if you go uh, uh, smaller sizes you will feel the bumps uh, in the road very hard and very tough and your scooter will uh, its lifetime will decrease and if you guys found this video informative and helpful be sure to give me that like and subscribe for more awesome videos like this one and also turn on that notifications bell and comment down below if you have any question I will directly answer all of you guys and stay tuned for more awesome videos like this one catch you guys in the next one peace